Hey everyone, it's Lisa Seltover from Spot on Agility and I'm going to um, share today some pretty exciting news. Um, the AKC has announced that there is now an AKC Agility Premium Cup uh, which they have um, presented with EEM. So we're going to kind of figure out all of those things. So if you're just joining us, again, my name is Lisa Seltover from Spot on Agility and we're going to be talking about AKC's Agility Premier Cup that has recently been announced. Uh, so before I get into that, though, I kind of want to take a, a side step to, first of all, talk about the last five days. I kind of had a busy little schedule, and I, I need to thank a lot of people. So first and foremost, yesterday was my birthday, and um, I want to thank all of you for literally hundreds of, of messages wishing me well on my birthday. It really really meant a lot and I hope that I got to every single person to thank you um, because you know it's just a, a special day and you guys made it even even better by acknowledging and wishing me well so thank you and then um, a few days before that I gave myself the ultimate surprise birthday gift and um, went in for emergency surgery to have my appendix removed so um, I'm about five days out of surgery here and again the well wishes hundreds and hundreds of people and i really want to thank you um a little bit of a scary moment before going in and uh anyway your well wishes really meant a lot so thank you i just had to say thank you for that so um, hey kirsten how are you thanks thanks so much um okay so before i get all teary-eyed with emotions i'm thanking you guys uh, for all of your support, let's talk about the AKC Agility Premier Program. Um, it was wonderful timing that the AKC so kindly announced this because last week we were talking about the Premier class and I did a, uh, a workshop on all of the training opportunities that the Premier class does afford to all of us handlers, whether you're beginner handlers or advanced handlers. So if by some chance you missed that, definitely go back and take a look. Let me go ahead and give you that, um, that address so that you can access that. It's uh, spotonagility.com forward slash premier class forward slash. And so not only did it have a, the video from last week's workshop, but also you can get uh, PDFs of all of the training sequences that I featured on that and also a link to a webinar that Carrie DeYoung and I had done which um, talked about the Premier class and it's um, how it came to be. Um, so definitely take a look at that. And again, that was spotonagility.com forward slash Premier class forward slash. All right, so let's go back in and I'm going to dive and I'm going to kind of be reading some papers here because there is a lot to take in. So basically, here's the press release. The American Kennel Club joins with EEM World to host the AKC Agility Premier Cup presented by EEM. Um, exciting stuff, but when I first read that headline, there was a whole bunch of things I had to go educate myself on. So the goal for this workshop is to really kind of break down what this you know, Premier Agility Cup means and to also kind of go into a little bit of the lingo so that both, because it's a brand new item, but so that both beginner folks and those that have been doing agility for quite a while can come up to speed as, as to exactly what this event means and who it's with. And I'm going to kind of be going through a whole bunch of things. All right. So when I first read this, the, my first question was, who's EEM? All right. And uh, what the heck is EEM World? So I, I did a little bit of research on that. And here is actually from the EEM website. So first of all, EEM, they're an equestrian. So this is definitely a horse event. And what I love about this is agility was created um, based off of a smaller version of equestrian, so equestrian jumping. So I think they've got a really good pairing there between the EEM and the AKC. Uh, so we have an event that's going to have both dogs and horses, and I'm going to get into some more detail on that. But from the EEM World website, 
Uh, so their goal is basically to reinvent show jumping, and it's their ambitious goal that the team of e EEM have set for themselves. For over 10 years, they've been dedicated to bringing equestrian sports to the front of the international stage, and the EEM World event is inspired by leg legendary tournaments of the Tennis Grand Slam. E EEM gathers under one roof the best of sport, entertainment, and lifestyle. So this is quite the event. So this isn't just a show. Uh, this is definitely like a Westminster, like a crux, where you have got you know the best of the best there, and you also have some great shopping going on. You've got some great social events going on. So that kind of gives you an idea of you know who EEM is and what the Dog Agility Premier Cup will be to this event. So the event is actually going to be held this year. The agility portion is on Thursday evening of April 25th, and the actual EEM World event is April 26th through 28th. So this is going to be kind of the, the pre-evening um, where they're going to have the agility part. And I do know it's from 4 to 9. Um, I do have everything on my website, and I promise to go ahead and give you a link to that so that you can read this newsletter directly. Uh, number one question I'm sure you have, so I'm going to just kind of get that out of the way. Yes, it's going to be televised. So uh, there is a very specific channel, and I'll go through all of that as well. Okay, so this event is actually... Um, I hope I'm going to be saying a lot of these things correctly, but it's part of what they call the Long Knives Masters. So there is an event, and it is three, the horse portion of it is in, and I want to make sure I get this correct. Um, this is actually from the, uh, um, the event itself. <laughs> so this event is in New York, but the previous ones were in, let me get this correct, uh, Paris and Hong Kong. So it's a series of three events, Paris, Hong Kong, and New York. And the AKC Premier event is going to be here on the New York portion of it. Um, what I really like about this is, first of all, the history between dog agility and the equestrian is undeniable. Um, so, you know, it's great. It's just so great. I really feel like with the dog agility being paired up with this horse event, it really feel like, feels like we're getting back to the roots of who we were and who we came from as a sport, which is really incredible. Kind of on a side note, there have been many people who have said that dog agility should be in the Olympics. So I think it's pretty great and interesting that we've now been paired up with a world-class international event, uh, horse event, where many of these, um, you know, equestrian teams do also compete in the Olympics. So just a little side note that that may help us to get, as a sport, dog agility a bit more exposure to um, a very different crowd. So that's pretty exciting. Also, um, the premier class, as we talked about last week, really incorporates international handling uh, and in international courses and sequences, which is great because the EEM world that uh, the Longmires that they're having in New York is also international style. So we've kind of got some nice pairings on that one. Um, so, kind of some fun news, and I haven't seen this announced, but I also know that's not a secret, so I can go ahead and say that. Uh, I do know and had an opportunity to speak with the judge of the event, uh, which will be Dan Wolfson, and he wasn't able to join us today. He's in a convention, lucky him. But he did kind of give me a statement, and I do want to share that with you because I think it really is a wonderful thing. Let me take a glass of water here real quick. All right. So, Dan, uh, so first and foremost, um, he is a great guy out of Palmetto, Florida, uh, wonderful judge. I think the AKC did a fantastic job picking him. I think competitors will truly enjoy his courses. Hey, Mandy, how are you? Um, like I said, competitors will absolutely love his courses. I think it will be an absolute pleasure to watch them be run on television as well. It's, it's super, super fit. So here's what Dan had to say. Uh, so he said, first of all, I'm honored to be chosen 
to judge the 2019 AKC Agility Premier Cup, and I plan to design courses using my personal experience in running my own dogs. My perspective on the dog's path is what makes for successful and creative challenges that flow. What's so great about this is, and also tying back into our workshop from last week, when I was encouraging you to really look at the dog's path and to play with you know, the dog's path in the flow of these premiere sequences, Dan really addresses that. So courses can be challenging, and it really is the handler's job to make it flowing for the dog. One of the things that I always think about is that a handler's responsibility is to show the dog the course, but also to get from left to right to make the smoothest path possible for dogs. So what may look difficult on paper when you draw out those nice dog lines really should be doable. And Dan has he has really worked hard with his dogs and he's very conscientious on making great dog lines so that the dogs can run smooth paths, they can accelerate, they, you know, they can decelerate so that handlers really can, you know, present these sequences in such a way that it's not only exciting, but it's also safe. And I, like I said, I think he's going to do an absolute fantastic job on all of these courses. So it really will be very, very exciting uh, to see that. So going on in the announcement, one of the things I talked about is that there's going to be 60 dogs that are going to be invited. So by the way, whenever you hear something, um, an event called the Cup, so in this case, the AKC Agility Premier Cup, that means it's an invitational type of event. And that's also what the EEM World event here, the Longmire's Masters Cup is. It's, you know, those equestrian teams are invited. So you have to be competing at a certain level, and, you know, that's how you get invited to it. So back to the AKC Agility side of it uh, in the Premier Cup. So here's the big question that hasn't been shared in the announcement, and I haven't seen anywhere, but I'm sure that they're going to be addressing pretty quick here, is... Of the 60 dogs, we do know that 12 dogs in each jump height, and in this case, the jump height, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24, so there's six jump heights, um, there'll be 12 dogs in each jump height. And so here's the question. How are those 12 dogs going to be invited? How is that going to be determined? So let's kind of speculate a little bit, because it could be kind of fun to see which comes true, and if you have any thoughts or theories on what you think will be the means that these folks will be identified, definitely write it in the comment section. So I kind of came up with, uh, I came up with three of them actually. So what about, um, you know, maybe they take each of the 12 dogs that are the top dogs in their height overall. So maybe there's some rankings and they, they take it from a specific date. I'm just gonna pull December 31st out just for the heck of it. And they take the rankings for that past year and determine by jump height who the top 12 dogs are. So that's definitely one option. The second option is to focus on the premier class only and take the top 12 dogs in each jump height from the premier class, that's another option. Or the other third one that I came up with is that they take the top 12 dogs in each jump height from maybe some of the, um, the more recent national events. So for example, I know we have um, the, uh, <clears throat> uh, we had the Invitational in December, that doesn't exactly represent all of the dogs, so I don't know that they would exactly use that, but we do have coming up here in March, the AKC National, and I'm wondering if they'll take the top 12 dogs in each jump height uh, from maybe that event. So that's another possibility. So my money is gonna be, initially it was on the top 12 dogs in the premier class, but then I realized that this announcement has come out just a couple of weeks before their national event. So then that kind of got me wondering, hmm, is that how they're going to do it? 
So kind of a question on there. And like I said, if you have any other thoughts, definitely let me know, because I think that's going to be kind of the, one of the fun things to watch. Um, all right. So, hey, by the way, so this, this event that's in New York, you do have to buy tickets for. So for the heck of it, I was kind of curious as to what the ticket costs were. So I did look that up, and I'm thrilled to say ticket costs were either $25 or $35 per day, which considering um, – how the EEM is really talking about this being an incredibly prestigious event. Uh, I was pretty pleased with the ticket price on that. So I thought that was pretty good. Definitely doable to go watch for a day or two or three. So that's kind of a, some good news on that front. Um, and I'll also put online the, uh, the link so that you can get tickets for those of you that do want to attend. Gosh, okay, so one of the big things is I told you it was going to be on television, so I'm reading here from the press release, and it will be aired on AKC.TV, which is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV. So um, just to kind of give you a heads up on that. All right, so that's all I really have on the AKC Agility Premier Cup, except to say I'm really excited about it. Anytime that we can get more exposure for our sport, that's always a good thing. And um, I kind of can't wait to see how they decide how, you know, the, inv the invites are going to go. That's going to be kind of a number two thing, and, you know, these are exciting. Um, and my gosh, I just, I think it's a great opportunity. It's just an absolute wonder, wonderful opportunity uh, to continue to grow our sport and to really showcase the dog and handler teams that are currently competing in agility. Because I gotta tell you, they're just, there's amazing teams out there. And I think the competition is really becoming fun. And I think there's lots of great opportunities. And it's nice to have, a, you know, a cup event that um, is based on a U.S. Uh, dog sport, you know, right here. I always love to see things going on that way. Um, so anyway, let me know what you think you're, you know, is going to happen with that AKC Agility Premier Cup, how you think that they're going to determine who is going to be invited, um, and any other questions that you have. I do have a, uh, an email out to Carrie D. Young on a few questions, so if you come up with some, I'm happy to have that in there. She is currently traveling right now, so I didn't expect uh, to have um, an update for you today, but I may in the next couple of days. So in the meantime, thank you so much for joining, every, joining me, everyone. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great week, and as always, happy handling. <laughs> Bye, guys.